Good morning, guys. So we're out here at a site hoping that I can get some of this scrap wood uh, they're building. And uh, there's a lot of wood. Check it out. Back there, I'm like all into that long piece. He already said we can have some of the little scraps, but I'm so excited. Wish us luck. If this is not the hardest thing, but a blessing in disguise, we got six long pieces of wood. <laughs> so I can at least make... I'm so tired, you guys. This is really hard to get this up here. Oh my gosh, we had to carry them from the site, set them in the park, pick them up in the park, carry them to the back gate, slide them under the back gate, come around, put them on top of a trolley, push them they couldn't fit in the elevator so we had to stand them up and drag them over the railing luckily someone's husband came out being nosy and asked to, to help which is fine by the grace of god and then my nosy neighbor as we're struggling to stand up these wood pieces comes out and she's like oh this you guys out here making all that noise of course <laughs> the spirit in me kept quiet because i was tired and was not going to entertain it and Long story short, aside from all of the little nuances and tedious things that agitated me, we got it up here. And I'm officially tired. Alrighty guys, so I decided to look up the wood to see what exactly um, the type of wood is that we had gotten. And I came across uh, two important things. I'm so excited about it. Um, one, this wood here, as you can see, is uh, a two by six by 16. And so the number there, pound two BTR KDHT SPF, um, I typed in Google and it brought up this particular lumber and it's exactly what we have. Look at how much each piece is, guys. And we got six pieces. So you do the map. We got some really good premium uh, lumber here. And then I wanted to learn about um, the wood itself and the specs. And it says here that um, this wood is um, suitable for new homes. Uh, you can prime it. You can paint it. It's uh, stamped for the high uh, standards of strength and quality. And it's a killed and dried dimensional lumber. I'm not quite certain what type of wood that is, if that's the wood, but I'm going to do a little bit more research. And um, it's amazing. And if you can see here at the bottom, just above the dimensions and info and guides, it says that this is untreated premium lumber. So it was not chemically treated uh, prior to making it to that construction site. And I'm quite certain they didn't treat it. Um, once they use it in the construction and a lot of it looks uh, pretty new still and I was able to get the barcode off of it so we got some really good wood here um, that I'm excited about do you guys see this $30.37 a piece then I wanted to learn more about this PEFC label on the barcode and this is obviously a um, program that harvests wood sustainably. They recycle a lot. So this wood, it either is recycled or it comes from a forest that is grown specifically to harvest. So they're not just cutting down a lot of the ancient and older, more valuable trees in other forests. And it's more protected and um, enclosed and it says here PFC, it stands for the Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification. You guys know that this has me ecstatic. You have to know that because I'm an environmental scientist. So to know that the wood that I got, I've actually repurposed it or we're repurposing it. And that it's also um, being recycled and its start was amazing. So again, it's the Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification. And uh, it says it's a leading global alliance of natural forest certification systems. How awesome is that? It says, as an international nonprofit, non-governmental organization, they are dedicated to promoting sustainable forest management through independent third-party certification. And so I was just like, this doesn't get any better. So then I wanted to 
uh, look a little bit more into it. This is the website here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All timber originated from Russia and Belarius is conflict timber and therefore cannot be used. Okay, so it's good to know we are not getting this wood from Russia and it hasn't come from Russia. <laughs> so I'm so excited. It's called conflict <laughs> timber. Okay. So they can't um, be certified under this. I guess you guys know what's going on in the world. But if you want to read more about it, you know, you can. And this is the website, pfc.org. So I'm definitely going to look into it. And as you can see, the whole world is on a different um, mindset right now. Today is March 7th, by the grace of God. And this was posted on March 4th. So you guys can check this out. Um, you know, it's, it's really good to see. Facts and figures here, 330 million hectares of forest globally are PEFC certified. So, you know, it's nice to see companies doing whatever they can to save our forest. As you guys know, we need our trees. Alrighty, I'm out. I'm your girl, Tay. No seed or soil left behind. Okay, so I wanted to know what the letters meant on the barcode, the pound two BTR KDHT SPF meaning. And so I found a website here that would allow me to understand what type of lumber it is. So this was kiln dried wood, and I know that wasn't the actual type of wood, but I remember watching Homestead Rescue with Rainy and his, uh, <laughs> his children who, um, uses or bills or one episode they actually built a kiln for a guy and his family so that they can forest uh, use their sawmill and dry the wood so they use a natural approach to building a kiln using solar energy to heat up and dry the wood so this wood was not chemically treated but it was dried in the kiln and it says here that it um is also used to treat and um, kill pests so i found this little website it says this old house and we're doing it together as you can see now again today is march 7 2022 and um, this website again is called this old house how to read the stamp an easy way to identify the right framing lumber for your needs so let's see spf one so Number one is the species. <laughs> Number two says the grade. Number three says moisture mm -hmm. content. So I do know that I have that KD. Okay, so one says SPF. Two is stud, which is the grade. Number three is the moisture content. So in this barcode um, or in this... Um, label i know there's a kd a ht and for number three that's the moisture content and i have this btr that's what i'm still trying to figure out so we're going to try to find it out together what it means okay establishes some quality based on a greater visual inspection select structural um Number two would be the grade. Okay, no. Moisture content. Okay. So in our barcode, we have BTR, and I do see the KDHT, and it says here KDHT under number three means the wood was also heat treated to kill pests, a requirement for imported lumber. So we know what our KDHT stands for. Now we just need to know what our SPF means. SPF. Hmm. SPF. 
Oh, spruce, pine, or fir. Do you see it at the bottom here, guys? SPF means it's a spruce, a pine, or fir tree. We're learning. We're going to get this together. Okay, now I got to figure out what the BTR stands for. So now we know we have either spruce, pine, or fir, and it's heat treated and dried in the kiln. So that's what the KDHT and uh, SPF stands for. Now, you just got to figure out what the BTR stands for. What does this say? Kiln dried, heat treated. Okay. But we still have a BTR. So. Still trying to find it, guys, to see what this BTR stands for. Spruce pine or fir. Number two. Oh, so I see here that they have these little uh, stamps on the wood. And actually, I did see right there these little stamps. So I'm going to go and get the stamp. Okay, guys, so I said I wanted to get the labels. Oh, that was one way to find it. <laughs> this is the stamp on the wood here. And I made sure I got the same pieces. I want it to be uniform. So we're going to see what that means. 